Hi friends! Welcome to Storytime with the Met. My name is Emily and I'm so glad to see all of you. While the museum is closed, we'll be hosting Storytime remotely. I hope you'll join me every Thursday for a new story and a new art making activity that we can do together. We're going to start just like we do at Storytime at the museum. So find a spot, get cozy, and let's begin with our Storytime song. Are you ready? goes to the tune of this old man. Sing and clap along with me. Ready? One, two, three. Welcome friends, get ready, get set for story time at the mat where we love to read and sing. Look at works of art and picture books. We'll use our eyes to look and see we we'll use our ears to hear stories. Now let's take a seat and give a shh. Let's begin with our first book. Nice job. Okay, our story today is called I Ain't Gonna Paint No More. It's written by Karen Beaumont and the illustrations are by David Cottrell. I'm gonna read the words and we'll look at the pictures together. And if you know this book, you can read along with me. Are you ready? I ain't gonna paint no more. One day, my mama caught me painting pictures on the floor and the ceilings and the walls and the curtains and the doors. And I heard my mama holler like I never did before. You ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. What's happening to his paint? Is she putting it away? That's what I say. But there ain't no way that I ain't gonna paint no more. So I take some red and I paint my head. You can point along with me. Now I ain't going to paint no more. Aw, uh, what the heck? Going to paint my neck. Now I ain't going to paint no more. Look at his neck. Still, I just can't rest till I paint my chest. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Guess there ain't no harm if I paint my arm. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I just can't stand not to paint my hand. Now I ain't going to paint no more. Then I see some black, so I paint my back. What's he doing to get his back? Is to use a roller. Now I ain't going to paint no more. Like an Easter egg, going to paint my leg. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. So I ain't complete till I paint my feet. He's gotten head to toe. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I'm such a nut, gonna paint my what? Y'all don't faint. Cause there ain't no paint, so I ain't gonna paint no more. And nice reading, friends. Now, I can't help but think about a song when I read that story. Can you think of what I might be coming up with? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Do you think you can sing along with me? Are you ready? We can count to three and go together. 
One, two, three. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Now one thing we like to do at the museum is see how fast we can do that. Do you think you can try to do it even faster? Try it out with your adults at home. See how fast you can go, like lightning speed, without mixing up your body parts. Now, this book also makes me think about one of my favorite paintings in the museum. It's called Pond in Sunlight by the artist Arthur Dove. Take a look. What do you notice about the painting? I see lots of colorful lines that he painted in tempera paint that move in all sorts of directions. I want you to choose one of those lines, one of those lines or shapes that you see. Do you have it? Okay, now let's take our fingers, our hands, our arms, or our whole body, and let's see if we can make the shape that we see. Are you ready? Move along with that line. Mine goes like this. You can even make a sound. Very nice moving, friends. Now before we say goodbye, I have an art project that you can do together to experiment with painting yourself. Let's see. So you need any kinds of artist tools that you can find. I'm going to show you an assortment. You can use paint, any kind will do. This is like temper paint, just like Arthur Dove used. Mine's liquid. A paintbrush. I picked a paintbrush. I also picked a fork. Let's see what else I found that I could use in my house to paint with. A popsicle stick. I tried experimenting with a feather. A Q-tip. Cut up a little piece of cardboard to apply my paint, and I cut up a piece of sponge. And let's see what I came up with. Let's see. So I dipped all those different tools in paint and put them on my paper. You could use cardboard, paper, canvas, anything you can find. And I tried to see what different kinds of lines or marks or shapes do the tools make? Let's see what you come up with. Well, friends, I hope that you had fun joining me for story time and an art activity. We hope to see you again next Thursday for a new book. Bye.